智利的很臭，智利的那个。南美超市里面，看，有巴拉圭，还有南边。嘿嘿。My name is Haumaka, an ancient sage from a distant land called Marayanima. Long ago, I was granted a vision of mighty waves so vast and powerful it swept over our entire island. Dragging our home into the depths of the sea. Troubled by what I had seen, I shared this vision with King Hotomatua and then I lay down to rest. As I slept, my spirit embarked on a nostril journey across the great Pacific Ocean, soaring over the waves until I arrived at an island that seemed to be the very navel of the world. When I woke, I told the king of my dream. Without hesitation, he gathered seven explorers and sent them forth to find this mysterious land. Upon returning, the explorers confirmed the existence of this new land. Soon after, we set sail among two vessels, one carrying the king and his family, and the other for his sister, Avaripua. And so, our story began, with our arrival at this new land, our new home. symbolically divided the island in two, keeping one half for himself and granting the other to Avaripua. At first, he named this land Tepito o Tecainga, but over time, it became known as the enigmatic island of Rapa Nui.
In ancient times, there were those among the Lakhui people who were said to possess a supernatural power called mana. They could bless the harvest, ensure bountiful catches from the sea, and even summon rain in times of drought. When these individuals passed away, the need to honor them gave birth to the grand stone monument we call Moai. The body of the deceased would be modified and buried beneath the Moai, so their power would not fade away. It all begins when two young sons of the king brought the first half statue to an old sage named Kaiheki. <laughs> Gaze downward to understand the proper shape, referring to the male imperial mother. And so, the form of the Moai was established, whose original name was Arena Orde, meaning the living face of the ancestors. <laughs> Ah, my 
Oh, oh, oh. 